Mary Meet. And thank you very much for inviting me here to speak today. It's always been my dream to be involved in an interfaith organization. Ever since I was a little girl going to different friends' churches to see what their denominations of Christianity taught. My favorite were the Baptists, as they served grape juice and cookies. <laughs> so much better than what we got at Catholic Church. As an adult, I also explored different religions. Islam, Taoism, New Thought, Science of Mind were my favorite. Until I heard the word pagan, followed closely by Wicca, which set me on my truth path. But in each religion or domination, denomination I explored, I learned something, and for that, I'm grateful. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Wiccan symbol and a magic tool called pentacle. The first time I saw a pentacle or a type of pentacle was on the side of a military plane. My father, whose birthday is today, was an officer in the U.S. Army. Although we didn't live on the base, we often went uh, there. The pentacle in military isn't a true pentacle, but a star. Still, it's obvious that it stood as a symbol of power and protection. It's not only the American military that sees it as a powerful symbol. The pentacle, or pentagram, has been around for a very long time. They've even found pentagrams all the way back to 3000 BCE. That's over 5,000 years ago. In fact, pentagrams have been found in just about every ancient civilization from the Mayans in Mexico and Central America to China. Many religions use this symbol also. Christians use the pent uh, pentagram to show the five wounds of Christ. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I missed most of my thing. Okay. Um, it's used as a symbol for the goddesses Ishtar and Venus. Actually, if you stand on Earth and you're looking up at Venus, and if you follow the path that it makes, it actually forms a, pen, a petal, pentacle. Um, the Hermetic Order of Golden Dawn uses the classical interpretation of the pentacle to represent the earth element. You may wonder why so many cultures over so many years use the pentagram. Like Pythagoras, Pythagoras, they saw the pentagram as a representation of the human body. If you look at it, I mean, it doesn't look like the body, yeah. right? Um, the, also the golden ratio, represented by the letter phi, is expressed perfectly in the divine mathematical symbol called the pentagram. 1.61803399, and just keep going. Pythagoras and his friends also use the pentagram to show the five classical elements, earth, water, air, fire, and spirit. Neo-pagans, specifically Wiccans, use the pentagram pentacle the same way. You may notice that I'm using pentacle and pentagram as if they were the same word. That's because they are and they aren't. If you're confused, you're not the only one. <laughs> you see, they come to us from different languages, from two different paths. The pentagram comes from the ancient Greek, meaning five lines. Pentacle comes from Latin, but came through to us from Old French. It probably came from pendaculum, Latin for little hanging thing, as my teacher likes to say, which became the old French word for pentacle, or amulet worn around the neck. The Oxford Dictionary defines pentacle as a talisman or magical object, typically disc shape, inscribed with a pentagram and used as a symbol of the element of earth. In modern day paganism, especially Wicca, the general agreement is the pentagram is the five-pointed star, while the pentacle is the pentagram with a circle around it. But this is just a common opinion, not a real definition. As English is a living language, one day that may become the definition, often though people just interchange words pentagram and pentacle, pretty much. Unlike religions of the book, like Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, Wicca is an experiential religion meaning our, world, our rules are not set in stone. It's not about what you believe. It's about how you practice. So in my circle, for example, I could, in my coven, I could have atheists next to me, um, polytheists, duotheists, believing in all the goddesses are one goddess, all the gods are one god, you know? We could have animists, we could have all of that, but none of that really matters what you believe, it's how you practice. 
um, and how, what it feels like to you. The pentacle is also a wonderful tool that can be used in many ways and symbolizes various things in paganism. For example, one point up, it symbolizes the goddess or feminine energy. It also symbolizes the spirit or soul working with the gods. With one point down, turn it upside down, it symbolizes the god or male energy. It also represents the spirit or soul descending into the elements and working within ourselves. Now, back in, this, back in the 1960s, a man named LeVay told the world that the upside down pentacle was the symbol of Satanism. He was quite good with PR. So Hollywood adopted that idea and even used the right side up pentacle to, to mean the dreaded Satanism. People freaked out so much about it that it became stuck in their minds. In fact, it was so synonymous in people's minds with evil that it took about 10 years for the American military to finally allow it as a symbol on the headstones of the graves of Wiccan American veterans, of which there are quite a few. Pagan advocates in 2012 estimated the military's total pagan population to be between 10,000 and 20,000 members. Um, the pentacle is not only a symbol of faith for us. Okay. Um, as I said, the pentacle represents the four classical elements of air, fire, water, and earth with the spirit or soul self as the fifth element. I'm sure many of you just had a flash from that movie called The Fifth Element yeah. <laughs> with Bruce Willis and Mila Jovovich. Yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Those were each of the four elements and she was the spirit, was the fifth element. Each point represents an element. These element also represents parts of us at the same time representing the earth and the cardinal points. All right, for example, air is often the direction east. I say often because it really depends where on the globe you live, all right? So air is often east and represents knowledge, words, and sound. Fire is south, represents daring, action, movement. West is often water, our will, our intuition, our emotion, the fluidity. North is earth, silence, manifestation, pragmatism. We also use the pentacle to call or to send away these elements and the guardians who represent them. We ask them for our protection during our rites. The pentacle can also be used as a tool for empowerment and a way of self-balancing because all these elements are inside of us too. So we might need to call more earth. I mean, we need to get organized <laughs> and get here on time. I want to earth, <laughs> you know? Um, in, Wicca, in Wicca, as many neo-pagan religions, especially Druidry, we say, as above, so below, as without, so within. Thank you for this opportunity and blessed be. Thank you.